following contest to the Jack Briscoe 15 Championship match with an added stipulation. Sudden Death Overtime. Introducing first, the challenger from Luzerne. How many opportunities Antonio Cesaro has to dethrone Luigi Steamboat time and time again? Cesaro has come up short, but once again, another opportunity for the well, Jack Briscoe. How many opportunities? This is a certified SmackDown superstar. Cesaro doesn't have to be here. Cesaro doesn't have to compete, but he's doing it because he knows he can and because he knows he has the ability to beat Richie Steamboat. Superstar Richie Steamboat is certainly on the cusp of greatness, and that championship certainly helps to prove that point. He is your reigning Jack Briscoe 15 champion. I'll tell you what, this is a big time feel, big time match to kick things off at, on FCW this week. And if I know Richie Steamboat, like I think I know Richie Steamboat, he has overprepared for this match because he understands the stakes at hand. Certainly, this is what this match is all about, a Jack Briscoe 15 classic for that championship right there. Now, Richie Steamboat is 3-0 against Antonio Cesaro in these matchups. That doesn't matter. That, that doesn't mean a thing. Because those matches were in the past, and this is the present. And the Antonio Cesaro you have tonight was not the same Antonio Cesaro from six months ago, from two months ago. This is a SmackDown superstar and a man who gets better every single day. Ovation. Richard Steamboat coming out, firing here on all cylinders. And so is Antonio. Ladies and gentlemen, you see the timer there on the bottom of your screen. This is a 15-minute matchup. However, there is an added stipulation. If the score is tied at the end of the 15 minutes, there will be a sudden death overtime. Byron, there has to be a winner in this match. Well, this is the kind of match where conditioning means the world. We know Richie Steamboat's in great condition because he does this on an almost nightly basis. But Cesaro, I know for a fact, has upped his cardio, increased his sparring session. So I think both these men are really going to be tested in a good way. This arm drag right there by Steamboat. Again, this has been the strategy that we've seen from Steamboat time and time again. Lateral press against Antonio Cesaro, and it certainly has been effective to come out strong. It's led to that 3-0 record against Cesaro, but Byron's certainly a different beast now that Cesaro has really established himself here on WWE SmackDown. Exactly, it is a different beast, and I guarantee you Richie Steamboat knows that. And what's going to be interesting is to see the strategy that Richie employs, whether he opts for a more fast-paced offense, or whether he tries to, to, to slow things down and, and maybe throw Cesaro off his game. You see how Cesaro there taking Richie to the corner to change the pace of this match. And that's sort of the methodical style that you see from Cesaro night in and night out, especially on Fridays on SmackDown. Very calculating and, and very deliberate in everything that Cesaro does. Oh, there's nothing flashy about Antonio Cesaro, but everything he does is effective. Whoa. Nice arm drag again by Steamboat. You see that Richie is opting for that slow offensive strategy at least here in the early going which is working in his favor the history is well documented meeting against each other so many times you got to believe that they might even know their reversals to the reversals by this point and it'll remain to be seen who will come out on top here in this 15 minute or plus match Take over here by Cesaro. It started off a little bit quicker, is now slowed down as it should, I guess, with a 15 minute match. Now, this match cannot end right away. The falls can come via pinfall, submission, 
disqualification of count out, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever comes out with the most at the end will be declared the winner. And the key is the slower this match goes, I think the, the advantage lies in the corner of Antonio Cesaro because that's the kind of match he loves. Nice reversal there by Cesaro. Up and on, again down with those arm drags. Might be taking Cesaro out of his game plan here. The fact that Cesaro has spent much of this match so far on the mat. Well, don't, don't underestimate Antonio Cesaro by any means. I mean, Antonio has done his homework. He's done excessive homework. He knows what Richie Steamboat is capable of. And he understands, hey, if my first strategy doesn't work, I have several other go-tos that I can utilize. Battle here for control. Both superstars trying to grab the head. And now a cover. Whoa! Wow. Look at Richie there using the speed to overcome Cesaro. Oh, there it is! There it is! Cover! And look at whether that was a wise move or just instinct. Richie Steamboat rolls out. Preventing a potential cover. Oh, but look how wise this is from Antonio Cesaro. Get Richie in that ring immediately and go for the pinfall. Cesaro might have Steamboat here. Cover, the shoulders are down. Ugh. And Richie kicks out. See the look there. Cesaro knew that he could have potentially pinned Steamboat if Steamboat didn't roll out. And again, you see Steamboat on the outside. See, it, you, you got to remember what Richie Steamboat said last week, which sort of incited Antonio Cesaro. He's, he almost called, more or less, Antonio Cesaro someone who's not a superstar. Richie said he's the one who's going to become a superstar after this match, and Antonio Cesaro, with all his success, came out here and expressed his displeasure with that comment. And that's why I think we're going to see a new and improved Antonio Cesaro here tonight. Oh, whoa. Cesaro catching himself there on the apron. Dangerous territory. And out goes Cesaro. And Rich, I think, wants to join the party. Uh oh, high risk early on. Going up top. Catching Cesaro. Both superstars are down. Can Richie maintain this momentum in this Jack Briscoe 15 matchup? We'll find out as FCW rolls on. Welcome back to Florida Championship Wrestling. You are watching the Jack Briscoe 15 Championship match. Antonio Cesaro in control against Richie Steamboat. As we take a look here, right before the commercial break, Richie Steamboat putting his body on the line, diving to the outside, catching Cesaro. But during the break, Cesaro turned the tide of the match and just launched Richie's throat right against the guardrail. And that's where we are right now, Cesaro maintaining that control against Steamboat. Yeah, it just, it, it speaks to the volume and the importance of this match. Both these men really, truly want to settle the score between each other, and they're willing to step outside of each other's comfort zone to do as such. Cesaro certainly doesn't care that he's 0 for 3 against Steamboat. A cover here. Oh. And I believe Richie might have been too close to that's the ropes. Right. So, Cesaro trying again. The score is still zero to zero. You see the timer there on the bottom of your screen. We are almost two thirds of the way done here. However, ladies and gentlemen, an extra stipulation. If the score is tied at the end of the 15 minute matchup, it will go into a sudden death overtime. But Cesaro's not thinking about that. Cesaro's saying that he's got, you know, uh, about six more minutes here to do something to Richie Steamboat that's going to certify him in a spot that's going to allow him to walk out of here with the Jack Briscoe 15 championship. A look of agony there on Steamboat's face. Very interesting submission hold. Certainly unpleasant to say the least there on Steamboat trying to fight out. But the champion certainly having a hard time. Where is he? The shoulders are down. Catching Cesaro. Nice back slide. Cesaro's down. Oh, wow. European uppercut. Might have knocked out Steamboat. Oh. It just shows you how quickly Antonio Cesaro can break the momentum of his opponent. Certainly 
Johnny Cesaro with a very rugged, old school kind of style in the ring. Kind of a throwback to the wrestlers of yore, but certainly has been very effective in, in getting himself up to see him every Friday on WWE SmackDown. On the other hand, Byron, what a great victory it would be for Steve Bunn if he could somehow muscle out, pull off a victory. Shoulders are down. Not looking very good right now for the champion. You got to understand something about Antonio Cesaro. Cesaro is a man of honor. And when you question his honor the way Richie Steamboat did, he, there's going to be repercussions. There's going to be very harsh repercussions. And that's the kind of motivation Antonio Cesaro has taken with him into this match. You see there, ladies and gentlemen, time is slowly ticking away. And the score is still zero to zero. Oh! Oh! Steamboat, I think, just... So whatever just happened, it hurt, that's for sure. Steamboat took a nasty tumble there. The fight is now back towards the apron, and again we see Richie. Going up top oh. again, catching oh, this fire. It backfired. Cover. Oh my! Two and a half. Steamboat trying to get back. Oh, Cesaro catching Richie. Uh, oh wow! Nice Look counter at this by Cesaro. Oh. Action is fast, the action is intense, ladies and gentlemen, with the Jack Briscoe Classic on the line. You get the sense Richie Steamboat is just with everything he has left, trying to fight off Antonio Cesaro. Down goes Cesaro! Steamboat here, lateral press! Uh, no. It's willpower here at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants it more? Steamboat perhaps, yes, trying again. This hasn't worked out well. I don't know if this is smart. Third time, maybe a charm. Nice drop kick. Can Richie make the cover? Shoulders are down. No. And again, Cesaro muscles out. No falls for either competitor. If you think about Richie Steamboat, someone who has worked hard for the last six months to defend that championship, is this the night where his time runs out? DDT! Is this enough? Is this enough? Oh, uh, no. Cesaro lands a huge CDT to Steamboat, but unfortunately could not pick up the pinfall. And now this battle has made its way again to the outside. Well, Cesaro is clearly dazed. Uh, you know, now you you begin to think maybe maybe Richie Steamboat's time has run now. Maybe maybe he's about to go four zero. You see the time a minute and a half left, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The brief hesitation allowing Cesaro to take action to turn the tide potentially. All it takes is one fall, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. Oh, what is this? Nice roll up here by Steamboat. Uh, oh. this, is, this is getting into the nitty gritty time now. We're just over a minute left to go in this match. Oh, one no one home minute there. remains. Oh, nice, nice counter. Antonio Cesaro blocked the kick. Tell me that's not a man who has been prepared for everything Richie Steamboat has. Well, can Steamboat make it back into the ring here for this 10 count? Well, these superstars are winded. They're exhausted. They need to find it deep oh, within. Oh, we've seen this before. We've seen this. Assault to it. It's Cesaro oh, yeah. holding on. Look at the power at this stage in the match. Hurry up, Antonio. Time's ticking. Not much time left, ladies and gentlemen. 15 seconds left. Can Cesaro pick up a fall here? Oh. 
Wow. Tom is about to run out. Cesaro is up. Getting Steamboat. The referee has stopped this match for the... I, I think there's there's still sudden death overtime rules, Ladies I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, no balls have been gained throughout the 15-minute time limit. Thus, let the sudden death overtime begin! Oh, a brief moment of respite for both of these superstars, but look at Cesaro, he's ready to go right now. And I don't, I don't know, I think Richie's out, wait a minute! Oh, Sabat kick! What happened? Catching Cesaro! All it takes is one, Richie gets it! Here is your winner, and still, Jack Briscoe 15 champion, Richie Devo! What? And what could possibly be the quickest overtime in SBW history? Can we take another look right here in the first 10 seconds, Cesaro sizing up Steve for that God style neutralizer. And Steve finds it deep within to hit that survive kick. Pick up the victory. How in the world did Richie Steve have the wherewithal to recover enough to deliver that kick to Cesaro? Richie Steamboat holding that championship high as he should. A hellacious match. Ladies and gentlemen, Richie Steamboat 4-0 against WWE Superstar Antonio Cesaro. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, you thought that championship match was fantastic. <laughs> Our main event is sure to blow the roof off this place. A fatal four-way. Seth Rollins defending this title against three other top-flight superstars later on tonight. Don't go anywhere.